Today, we're going to be calling Florida. We're going to be calling California. We're going to be calling Arizona, North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Virginia. And we are going to try to see how many uh, <clears throat> motivated sellers we can get. And uh, you are going to be listening to all the phone calls and you're going to be listening to the negotiations and the scripts that, that I use. They're in my head. I don't read them, but I've been doing it long enough that they become second nature. And this is uh, week 13, uh, day one of our journey. We've taken a journey here uh, for an entire year. And so we are now past the three month mark uh, and we've been doing this for 13 weeks and this is the um, 13th week, actually 12th, this is beginning of 13, uh, in which uh, you guys have been seeing my phone calls and everything. It's a one year journey to see how far we can get and how many motivated sellers, how many contracts, how many deals we can make. And so I'm very happy that you're joining me here uh, for this week 13. I've put everything on a playlist so you can go and listen to the, uh, the calls. Feel free to go back and forth uh, to kind of just uh, go through the calls. But also don't forget uh, whenever I do my assessment of the call. So this is play by play, so to speak, as we play the game of real estate and negotiating with sellers. Uh, and, um, you know, don't... Um, the, what I recommend is for you to play it in the background and stuff. And so uh, don't, don't skip the, uh, uh, the assessments and everything else. Uh, don't skip the, uh, the anal analysis uh, and, and what I go through. So what I recommend is for you to, um, uh, to put it in the background and play it as you make your own calls. So let's get to work. Yeah, this is not, content that you consume you just sit there and watch it uh, i need you to make the calls alongside me put them on a playlist uh, i mean i put them on a playlist it, all you got to do is play the playlist and so um you know as you make your phone calls you go ahead and uh, listen to this in the background so let's do this together i want you to be in this one year challenge together so it doesn't matter when you have when you have started your career in real estate, uh, let's get your first deal. Let's get your first deal. Uh, so don't, uh, uh, don't underestimate the power of consistency and the power of doing this every single day. Uh, I try to record every single uh, day uh, and we have been very successful doing it for uh, three months complete uh, it's getting more challenging because we are getting a lot of deals and, and so forth. So, but I'm still at this. So you can do it with me. Uh, let's get some deals. If you want to participate in some of the deals that I'm getting, please uh, let me know uh, in the comments below or uh, send me an email, contact me. My contact information is all over uh, this channel and in particular in the box below. And so today uh, let's start with, um, some follow-ups uh, here to uh, Florida. Uh, as always, uh, let's start with the uh, trying to figure out how much either the ARV is or potential cash flow. Uh, so let's see here, this property here. On Zillow, it's at 317. On Redfin, it's at 348. On realtor.com is at 279. I quickly do, I don't put it all into the calculator. You know, I want to speak to the seller first. Uh, so 317, 348, uh, I, in 279. So I want to be at 300,000 here or below. So let's see what the comments say here. The property is completely renovated, so that's not good. ASAP want to sell because we called is the reason. 350,000 non-negotiable. Non-negotiable, okay. Let's see, completely renovated. So I can, uh, Uh, 
I'm going to take this on I'm privy and let's see what we can get in here. Oh, the confidence is two seventy seven. It's five, so confidence five, and the um, the estimated ranges uh, are two seventy seven and three thirty two. Okay, um, let's, um, okay, let's get the um, potential rent here. It looks, it looks nice. Okay, the rent is 2100 and then the estimated refi payment, wow, it's 1943. Okay. So immediately it looks it looks okay. Let's see here. Let's uh, send him a text and give him a call. So we're basically here going through my day uh, so that you guys uh, can see like behind the scenes type thing, like how I go about my day and the follow-ups and so forth. So you can Please leave do your the message same. If you do the same, three, two. you will close deals. I guarantee it. So. Texted Okay. And then uh, I will assign this a 
sequence. Okay, so I'm going to add him on here. Mm -hmm. Take the phone number, put them in the sequence here. Put the address so it recognizes in the system who it is and doesn't duplicate um, using Podio. House dialing, okay. Um, um. Okay, sequence has been created. Okay, sweet. wants uh, 350 okay perfect and so this one here now I activate the sequence Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> all of that time it just takes to manage that lead so um, so that we are ready to to call. Let's see if, if I can find who called me. Uh, Can't find it here. Okay. Sometimes sellers call you from different phone numbers and I have to go and, and figure out. If he has many of these. Okay. So now I'll text back and say, sorry, Mr. Phone call. Don't have a record for it. Okay. Next here. So we do the same thing now. We gotta go and see potential cash flow and then potential ARV. Um, <clears throat> 499 on Zillow, 499 on Redfin, 499 on Realtor. This one is listed for sure. Yep, it's listed. It looks like a nice house and it's vacant. So it was listed uh, 135 days ago. That's a long tub. It's it's stinky. <clears throat> so let's see here. The range here is five. Um, yeah, 497 to 538. So you got to be below 497 because at 499 is not selling. Yeah. <clears throat> Even though the confidence is five. Then uh, let's see if I can. Get the rent here. Nope. Do I move that? <clears throat> so let me call the. The seller and see. Um, OK. 
Okay, so four ninety nine. So we've got to definitely be below four ninety seven because that's the range that we that we have here. <clears throat> Okay. The notes say no repairs are needed. I can see that. They are now living in Vegas, so they're not even here. Best day and time to call, send in my text message. They are listed on the market. However, the seller mentioned that you can sell FISBO. You can talk to the management about it. The contract will expire in January. Everything is upgraded <clears throat> for bathrooms. We're upgraded. <clears throat> okay, let's see if they want to rent it for a while. Do a lease option here. <clears throat> All right, let's call him. Texted him, and so now let's uh, see if we can get him on the, on the phone. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, John, how's it going? This is Ben. Who's this? Uh, ben? Ben? Yes, 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 about uh, your property in, the, in uh, Castleberry. Oh. Uh, uh. Are you, uh, you want to buy it? Or what? Uh, yes, yes, I'd like to buy it. I see that, um, you know, you had connected with Alex and uh, <clears throat> you were telling Alex that uh, you guys are in Vegas now? Yes, we're in Vegas. Okay. Is that a permanent move? Yeah, we live here for how many years already? Oh. 2006. Okay, 2006. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, I like the property. I want to move forward with it. I want to purchase it. So how much is your offer? Well, you have it at four ninety nine, correct? I see it on Zillow, and I'm looking yeah. at the pictures. Yeah, I'm yeah. looking at the pictures. It's nice. It's nice. Did you guys rehab it? Yeah, we did uh, all the bathrooms. All the bathrooms. It's already okay. upgraded. Mm -hmm. The carpet is new. The mm -hmm. flooring is new. Yeah. The painting is new and the AC is new. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's currently vacant, correct? Yeah, it's already vacant because now before, because that's what, before, you know, we plan to move in Florida, but we changed our mind. That's why, because my wife working here in Las Vegas. So mm. just staying there, you know, we move here in Las Vegas. Okay, I understand. So you, so you so, bought it so you could that's move. Really, that's really the house for our, for you know, for our uh, residents in uh, Florida. But instead, we 
change our mind because my wife is working here. So, you know, mm-hmm. it's hard to, you know, if there's no good job over there. Oh, yeah, that, that would make it very hard on you guys. You have to kind of start from mm-hmm. scratch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, that's why we are planning to, uh, to sell the house. Mm-hmm. Because we are here in Las Vegas right now. Yeah. So it's hard to, you know, to manage two properties. Oh, yeah, definitely is. Definitely is. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that, that sounds good. Uh, the property has been sitting on the market for a, for a long time, though, right? Yeah, because, you know, uh, we, were in, uh, we were in vacation, so I left uh, the guy, the punishment, to put in the market. Mm-hmm. And then I think because of that pandemic and, you know, the, you know, the calamity over there in Florida, so, you know. Mm-hmm. No, uh, I understand. You know, yeah, I understand. And and how long? Uh, how, you've owned it for eighteen years, I think, right? Yeah, two thousand four. Yeah, two thousand four. Yeah, okay. And and uh, do you know what your payoff amount is? Do you have a mortgage? No, no, that's already paid off. Oh, it's already paid off. Okay, okay. Yeah, we we paid that in cash, you know. Yeah, yeah, okay. So right now, since it's uh, it's listed, uh, I mean, I like to do a for sale by owner transaction. Uh, you know, I did not, I was not so looking. You can do your offer if you want, then if you want the house, do the offer, mm-hmm. do it in writing, and then you know. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if you want to transact with the consultant. If you have an offer, and I gonna accept your offer, so there's no problem about that. Even though you have, uh, you know. We have a person over there to take over the, you know, the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I do have, I do have a, a title company that I work with. Uh, they can do all the paperwork. Uh, they can do, do you, do you have any title issues at all? The title is clean? Yeah, everything is clean. Okay, good, good, no good. Problem about that. Everything is clean. Yeah, yeah, because if it is clean, we can move really fast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anytime you can move, you know, there's a problem about that property. Mm-hmm. Everything is clean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay. Um, and you're okay with that doing doing this uh, uh, for sale by owner? Yeah, because you know that we can, we can discuss it, even though, you know, it's uh, listed by my management. Mm-hmm. We can know that I can talk to them. I understand. Whatever, you know, if I, if, you know, yeah, it depends upon your offer, because, you know, well, I'm I'm willing. Yeah, I'm willing to give yeah. you. I'm I'm willing to give you the the uh, uh, asking price. I'm not gonna lowball you. Um, you probably get a lot of phone calls where people are lowballing you. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Yeah, yeah. No, a lot no, no. Of phone calls are not showing. You know, that's why you are know, just waiting for the good offer. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm I'm intent. Just just so you know, uh, my intention is, you know, if we can do five hundred thousand, that's that's okay with me. You know, uh, that, that's no problem. I just want you to know that um, I am serious about it and I am not going to be playing games. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not going to lowball you. I know you're probably getting offers at like half the price or something. <laughs> so so I, I, I'm not going to be doing that. No, you know, the most, ben, mm-hmm. the most important, do the offer in writing and then, you know, we're going to discuss it then, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. yeah, I could definitely do that. What is uh l- let me see if yeah. I got your email address because I can go ahead and uh and do that. Uh oh, oh yeah, I got it. It's uh Esteban uh dot uh Jonathan right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I got it. Underscore. Yep, okay. Okay, so let me go ahead and, okay. and, and put something together, and then I'll go ahead and email it to you. And what I will do is uh, I'll call you back uh, once I send it over, so that way to make sure that you got it. And then uh, we can kind of coordinate a time for me to come out and, uh, and just kind of uh, walk through the house, not, not like an inspection or anything like that. It's just I just want to come and see what I'm buying. Does that make sense? Good that you're gonna go there in person and then see the no the situation down. Yeah, that's right. So that you will know it yourself. That's right, exactly, you know? exactly. The, the, the problem we have, we have we have a person over there, you know, the manager is the one, so you know, because I paid him to manage it. So 
So, oh, okay. you're responsible, you know, to guide you over there. I'm going to yeah. give you, if you have that offer, I'm going to give the offer to them, and then you're going to be contacted with them, and then, you know, it's mm-hmm. only one thousand person to to stay if you are okay. Mm-hmm. So you, you, you deal with them, and then you're not a problem about that. Okay. 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 Yeah, that's no problem. That's no problem. Sounds good, John. Yeah. Uh, I, let me go ahead okay, and, and get that moving. In, but but do me a favor. Save my phone number. Uh, my name is Ben. And think about the hundred dollar bills. You know, Benjamins. <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so just yeah. Ben okay, for short. Sure. This, this is the phone. If you, if you want to contact me or text me, this is the phone that you can text to not because somebody are using my landline. Okay. So, you know, I cannot get the, the, you know, sometimes I don't accept, I, I don't, I don't uh, respond to the landline because there's a lot of scamming, you know. Yeah. 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 No, so, I, I will text you. I yeah. will text you at this number. Yeah, this is the time. Yeah, this number you can text. You okay. can call me anytime you want. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, well, man. sounds like a good plan. I appreciate the time, John. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Uh, that, that, that was good. Um, one of my offers is a low ball uh, cash offer, but um, at 500000 he's got to give us terms. He's got to give us seller financing. That's what I want. I want seller financing out of this deal. Uh, because the house will be worth, you know, in 30 years, at least a million dollars, probably. So if he's able to give me seller financing, you know, my range is from 500,000 to a mil to now to 800,000. How much I can pay. It's just give me some, give me seller financing and give me good terms. Uh, he owns it cash. Okay. Spoke with him, comma. He owns this property free and clear, period. He's got a property management company managing and listing it, but it has not sold. So it looks like we may have to go straight into seller financing, which is perfect. Period. I want him to finance this property for us. Period. I will prepare an offer and send it to him. Come up. We got his email address. Okay, so hot. And I'm going to go into. All right. We have a ton, a ton of leads, um, but that was good. It was the first person I talked to today, and that was good. Uh, called a couple, and all of a sudden, there is this one here. So um, I'm going to actually prepare the offer. I'm going to write it right now. Uh, and uh, put things together and do the underwriting and all it is is just doing deeper of what i just showed you which is looking looking at all the numbers and dice and reading them further and that's the job that really takes a lot of time but that's okay because this is a half a million dollars if we give them you know five hundred thousand in over 30 years this is the wealth right here so over 30 years this property should be worth at least a million dollars in 30 years and that's the wealth that we pass down to our children uh, so that's what we're doing it for a lot of people want to do this for um, 
the money they can generate right now. And there's total merit to that. I'm not discounting it. I'm not, I respect that hundred percent, but you also have to be thinking over 30 years, that is your retirement years, you know, what you're going to do. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, and I'm going to go look at the numbers and then I'll come right back. So go ahead and uh, the, the next video should be on the playlist. So it should play automatically. We hit the playlist. If not, go to the playlist and find the second video after this, which is uh, probably going to be week 12. I mean, week 13, I apologize. Uh, day one, session number two. So um, let's go on to the next video. Thank you. Hit the like, subscribe, and share, and comment below. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.